Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here with Weather in a Minute on this Thursday, the 11th of January. And we could already see that across the Midwest and Plain states, we've got the watches and warnings map pretty much lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, winter storm warnings, winter storm watches. We have uh, also wind advisories across uh, much of the south and now into the southeast. We're still waiting to see. Uh, what they're going to do here in the local areas from uh, Pennsylvania to southern New England, uh, probably be putting up some sort of watches and advisories uh, late this afternoon, this evening regarding wind, rain and coastal flooding. And I think when we look at this particular storm system, because it's almost a carbon copy of the one we just had, uh, probably in terms of risks, I, I think the biggest risks are probably going to be from coastal flooding and wind. There will be some risk from rain, especially in areas inland, in and around rivers that are already up to bankful. Uh, we're going to, I think we're going to get less rain out of this, but uh, it, the threshold for flooding is going to be pretty low. So here's our major storm to the lakes. Gradient type tightens up. This is going to be for Friday night. It's a, a six to eight hour event, and then it will turn windy and colder as we head into the weekend. And maybe just maybe a chance for snow in the I-95 corridor along about Tuesday.